So, you want to compete against the elite. Here are 10 sports games to test your virtual athleticism and help you live your dreams of hearing a stadium chanting your name. The humble personal computing system doesn't get a lot of love from sports franchises, often getting last-gen versions on the advent of a new console, and yes, I do mean new NBA 2K, or being looked over altogether, see every ice hockey game since Emo was in. But that doesn't mean PC isn't the best platform to play sports games on. The PC is actually definitely the best platform for sports games. In fact, it's where long-running franchises get modded within an inch of their lives, where American football gets invaded by dice-rolling monsters, and where Talking Mountains coax you into snowboarding adventures. Even NBA 2K, the king of sports games, looks better on PC. Your move everyone else. And Davis puts it in. So let's rattle off 10 Hall of Famers that will satiate your sporting bloodlust, get you all wistful for yesteryear and maybe even convince you that video game golf is more than just a good pretend walk spoiled. NBA 2K has been the most ridiculously impressive sports sim for nearly a decade now. But without any major competition, it's getting doughy around the edges than an early season Nikola Jokic. So what should we do? We could recommend NBA 2K16 or 17 instead, where the devs were really in their stride and making big innovations each year. But LeBron would still be at the Cavs and that would just feel a bit wrong, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's focus on the substantial good points here. My career is like a grand RPG that just happens to be about basketball. The on-court mechanics are peerlessly detailed, letting you set up nicely animated picks with a few pad prods and lay down monster jams when you get into the paint. It's an infectiously passionate sports sim franchise. Play it and fall in love with basketball if you haven't already. Are you ready? Yeah. I said, are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, Eagles! Oh my goodness. Sports games just don't get more iconic than Tony Hawk's 1 and 2. These titles didn't just turn us all into stale fish aficionados with the gamepad dexterity of a concert pianist when they were first released in 1999 and 2000 respectively, they also shaped pop culture itself. For a moment there, skating was the be-all and end-all of cool. Everybody knew their birdhouse boards from their Zero hoodies, and jeans were worn loose enough to house a small festival beneath each leg. The real wizardry of this remaster is that both games feel just like you remember them, while actually taking huge leaps and bounds forwards. That old muscle memory is still useful, but the camera is so much more helpful now, the transitions between moves so much smoother. Plus, it's so handsome that it can even make a dilapidated aircraft hangar look like a Rembrandt, so there's that. We may never see the day when pop punk and extreme sports are the nucleus of youth culture again, but at least we can just keep playing these games forever now. Let's be real. If someone asks you what your all-time top 10 Blanc Pan Endurance Series moments were, you'd struggle. But when Kudos Simulazione took their rigorous racing sim and slapped it onto an official license, they created something way more than the sum of its carbon fibre finned parts. This is just about as real as racing gets, with brake and tyre temps demanding your attention just as much as rogue Lamborghinis losing it under braking. And with a good wheel like the G923 with true force under your hands, every tank slapper and momentary loss of traction is captured in granular detail by the force feedback, which means it's catnip for most competitive and dedicated sim racers out there. Sizzling multiplayer is waiting for you then when you're ready for it, but the solo play in Blanc Pan Championships is just as juicy, testing you over gorgeous day-night transitions and changing weather. Do you ever stop and wonder what you might have achieved in life if you'd put the same effort into, say, learning a second language or understanding chemistry as you put into that Football Manager 2012 save where you took Fulham to three Champions League finals? No? Well, me either, which is why I make YouTube videos instead of translating for Japanese biochemists. Why do we play this collection of menus for hundreds of hours year after year? Well, because like a great impressionist painter, Football Manager gives us just enough detail to build an utterly convincing football ecosystem, but also leaves out enough to actively engage our imaginations that fill in the rest. 
This year there's new detail in dealing with agents and setting the tone of conversation with your players, all of which takes place via menus that, yes, do look a bit like a futuristic Microsoft Excel. But just like an MSN Messenger relationship circa 2003, what counts is the fiction that you build in your head based on those text exchanges. Blood Bowl 2 is basically what would happen if your local games workshop was overrun by NFL players. Just like a game of Madden, two teams line up against each other with the intention of muscling a ball over the opposition's line. And also like a game of Madden, those teams both feature the guys who wrestle on the line and then the runners, the blockers and the catchers further afield. It just happens to be the case that these positions aren't played by humans. And that's where we say goodbye to the Madden comparisons, because Blood Bowl 2 plays out according to character stats and dice rolls in turn-based fashion, which means it's the best of both worlds, a lovely green field where jocks and nerds can commune in harmony, enjoying the savage contact sport and the comforting certainty of its underpinning numbers respectively. Bliss. Because the 25-13 season promises to be one hell of a show, doesn't it, Bob? It sure does. Not a lifetime ago, all it took to be a decent F1 game was having the official cars and tracks and not jumbling up the letters of drivers' names to avoid licensing issues like Heyman Dill and Miguel Nansel. F1 2020 does, yeah, quite a bit more than that. The problem it faced, you see, is that it's been brilliant for years. Not just giving you a violent armpit testing simulation to drive with a pad or wheel like the G923, but also throwing in classic cars and an almost RPG style career mode where you build a reputation, catch the eye of the fastest teams and develop your car season on season using this massive upgrade tree. It had to go bigger still to beat its own high standard, so now you don't just drive the car, you run the team as well. So yes, that paint job is my fault. Plus the multiplayer is still fantastic and the F1 eSports scene still attracts the very best in sim racing. What on earth can it do next year to best this? We may not be able to watch actual cars playing football yet, but despite not having any real world influence, Rocket League is as pure a sporting experience as FIFA or NBA 2K because what started out as a bit of a novelty in 2015 quickly attracted an incredibly skilled pro scene who can do things to a giant metal ball you would not believe. And that's what professional sport is all about, isn't it? Watching genetic mutants who've devoted their lives to their passion and are now capable of the inconceivable on a nightly basis. Now with football, basketball and ice hockey variants, Rocket League is a sumptuous blend of slapstick physics and precise controls where victory feels like performing an incredible dance and defeat is usually so hilariously keystone cops that you're not even really that angry. Yeah, you see, that's only uh, two screams into the sofa cushion loss. As I mentioned earlier, PC players don't always get the pick of the bunch when it comes to sports games, and while MLB The Show elicits squeaks of joy from all those who swing a bat in it over on PlayStation, we haven't had a super serious licensed baseball game here in the land of beige boxes for a while. What we do have though is Super Mega Baseball 3, an indie with big heads and, yes, similar poetic agency regarding the proportions of the rest of human anatomy. But does it ever feel good to hit a ball with a bat in? This is what makes PC gaming great, an indie scene that can take it to even Sony's mighty MLB The Show for sheer one more gameness. So although, yes, in some ways it falls short of cyberpunk on the visuals front, through sheer force of will, Super Mega Baseball 3 is still a belter to play on PC. What an odd game this is. A sort of open world, sort of sports exploration game where magical realism like Talking Mountains meets an official Seoul 2018 Winter Olympics license. Steep is a one-off, and in fact for winter sports fans on PC, it stands in a proud field of basically one. That's fine though, even though it isn't a perfect recreation of what happens when snow and ice meet slippery extreme sports equipment, there's a great variety of activities, and outside of predetermined events, a great sense of freedom to explore how you choose. 
The Winter Olympics DLC tests you to the max, but if you want a gentler experience, there are worse ways to spend half an hour than skin suiting, parachuting, skiing and snowboarding down Steep's pristine topography. So we've made it all the way to the last entry and you're looking at a golf game that plays scant attention to the rules of golf. You've probably got some questions like where's FIFA, where's Pez, Madden? And look, those games are all great, but after annual releases for several decades, they're not exactly hidden away, are they? What the Golf, however, is a title you might well have missed. Don't be expecting Tiger Woods PGA Tour 05 here, that outcast soundtrack by the way. This isn't a straight-faced sim, but instead a game about subverting your expectations every single time a little white dimpled ball is placed on a tee. It's a jamboree of surprises and silliness, and if you've been grinding away at NBA 2K My Career for 80 hours to unlock that purple rebounding badge, you could probably use some of that. Try it, love it, consider getting into actual golf, and then think better of it, and then play this again. So as the clock runs down on this video and we stand doing crossovers at half court, this brings an end to our list of sports games. We'd love to hear about your more offbeat picks for the sports game sphere, so leave your recommendations down in the comments and get that subscribe button smashed to see all our new vids every week. Catch you in the next one.